I don't want to be Colo, be Colo more. Welcome to another Women and Series with Tuesday Tobu C. Wazi Colo more. Today, you can see I'm sitting at the board for the first time. I want to discuss about Ojibo, the mystery of Ojibo. Why Ojibo is powerful? Why is a medium of communication where, that we use to communicate with the gods? with the spirit, with the unseen being, with the creator, with the universe. Hmm? Ojibo di omimi. Uh, they say in Nigeria that the Yoruba has plant oji, the Hausa has eat oji, whereas the Igbos pray with oji. And it's popularly believed that the Igbos are the only tribe in, in the whole of Nigeria that prays with oji, if possible, in the whole of Africa. I do not know how true this is. Because I've not done my own research to know if there are other tribes that also pray with Oji. But it, to the best of my knowledge and what I know, most of the Southeast, as if the Igbos, the Southeasterners, we are the ones that pray with Oji. So today I want to deconstruct the mystery behind Oji and also the symbolism behind Oji, eh? so that you also know the type of Oji you will pray with and the ones that you cannot pray with. It's not every Oji is. The Oji that you can pray with. And with Ojibo, Ojiaosa. Ojiaosa is Goro. We call it Goro. And we know and we have Ojibo. Then Ojibo, we can use Anabo. We have Ojinkete and we have Ojigo. Eh? So today I want to show you all this and I'm going to teach you um, the mystery of Oji. First of all, before I dive into the Oji proper, I want to explain why Oji is a symbol of communication. Why do I say so? If you look at the creation story from the Bible perspective, they say in the beginning, the world was void and formless. That's in the beginning, the world was void and formless. Then the creation story, according to the Big Bang, the scientists, the Big Bang theory, also agreed with the formlessness of the world. As in, bang, the world exploded. Then before the world exploded, that means it was void because that bang was like how the creation started. But before then, it was done. It was, you know, void. Now, Oji is one fruit that symbolizes this thing. The first Oji, the first Oji, the first Oji is always void. What the Igbos call it Oji Dalobi, dumb. That is that creation story. In the beginning of the world, the world was void and formless. So the first Oji, Ojimbo, Ojimbo Dalobi is void, is formless. You can't break into it. So Oji symbolizes the creation story. Whether you want to look at it from a Bible perspective or from the scientist scientific perspective, Oji Dalobi, Oji Dalobi. That's why Igbos do not pray with Oji Dalobi. Because like the science or the creation story will, will say, it was void and formless. It was void and what? formless so the first orgy is what always what orgy dalobi orgy that is void and formless before the whole creation stuff so i want to show you the creation story from the orgy perspective so this is orgy dalobi is the first orgy unless there is another kind of prayer you want to pray with it but ordinary daily prayer if you bring out your orgy and if not dalobi you drop it or if you not dalobi with maybe you didn't check before praying after praying if you know the lobby what do you do you drop it and look for another orgy at the lobby the orgy that has been broken that has taken form eh? remember i said that in the beginning it was formless you look for orgy that has form and either you say if i'm blown and book it because in anchor that means you diverted all the prayer you did with that orgy the lobby into the the orgy at the lobby so you see that orgy symbolizes we can understand the creation of the world from Oji. Oji is very powerful, so that you understand why Oji is very powerful. Now, the second Oji, permit me, this is Goro. This is Goro. This is not Ojibo. If you break this Goro now, you see that it's formless. It's stable land. It's stable land. You cannot say what, um, uh, whether it's male or female, because life is about opposites. Life is about opposite, duality of life. But this one it is st um, stable land, Obalokala. But you cannot say 
at times the people will tell you okala wifa na azazo okala wifa na azazo so some people do not like praying with this kind of audio but it's formless is is it has form it has form that is beginning to take form gradually but ye umoro opposites umoro opposites there is no opposite it is neither male or female no duality and this physical world it is all about duality we are in a world of dual duality ibo you say if you call if akudo be everything enwe le enu enwe la na we have day and night opposite so this one does not have this opposite it does not have this opposite so you see how the creation is going gradually now after this we have what oju balato oju balato now if you look at this original it now has form showing you that it is male and we are saying the kinga so we can agree if we follow the creation story we can say from oji perspective we can say that male we are created first perhaps this is why leadership has been given to the male oji balato the first oji that has taken real form the first oji that takes real form remember the first one dalobi is dumb the second one balokala it doesn't have any duality in it you cannot say whether it's male or female in Igbo i call it some people call it um ojoba local i call it amawo ke amawo as you know you don't know male you don't know woman is not male is no woman but the third one oji kinga now has form you see the difference from oji that does not have form i said it tabuland Table land, tabula rasa, tabula rasa. But see the one that has form, it has line, telling you that it is male. This line, that this line here represents the phallus of male, the male phallus. Utumoke, utumoke, nyawi kenga, the phallus. If you look at the male phallus, this is what is represented here by this line that is drawn. This straight line. Now, once you move from here, you have OJ, you know, the fourth, the fourth kind of OJ, OJ balano. It brings you into the cosmic balance, because male is not complete. Once you have only male, it's not complete. This world of duality is so. On the fourth OJ, I can call it on the fourth day. On the fourth oji, a way we go no. Oji woke, oji wine. Woke na abo, wine na abo. Woke na abo, wine na abo. Two male, two females. You see, cosmic balance, the real world of duality took form. And that is why we have Afyanano, Bosinano, the four market days, which is also two male, two females, is represented in this oji baleno. Remarkably, most of the OJ you may come across with OJ Walano. It is very rare to see OJ Dalobi. It is very rare to see OJ Walokala. But from three, four, five, they are common. But the most common is this one, the four. Balance. Balance. It represents the duality of life. It represents what? The duality of life. So moving on from here, you have the fifth OJ. Which is Ojomomo. Ojomomo. Ojomomo will have two male, three female. Showing you that after male will start having female, female will each represent reproduction. You cannot have reproduction if women is not involved. Why male are in charge of leadership? Oji is telling you that women are in charge of reproduction. That is why five women are more in number. In any orgy that is more than four, you will notice that women are more in number. Or why you say, if I am orgy, two male and three female. Orgy ball, the orgy ball five, that's five cutlet down. Orgy is telling you, is proving the fact why it's explaining, it's exposing why we always have more women. You see, it has three female, two male. Remember, how do we know the female? The female orgy has the ovary. Look at it. This ovary. 
not like the melody that has phallus. This one has ovary. Nkawa. Hmm? Nkawa. Donanke. Why? So, it has more female than male. If you get orgy that has, that is six, orgy bakwa has six. Most orgy bakwa has six. Now, we're going to two male, four female. Two male, four female. Proving that reproduction. Then at times, on rare occasion, you can see audio ball six, able splitty, and maintain that cosmic balance of three male, three female, three female, three male. Manu and I rare. It's very rare. But once in a while, you can see it. The normal that you can see in audio ball six is two male, two female, uh, four female, showing you that women for reproduction to continue, we must have what? Uh, more women. Because they are in charge of what reproduction. Then seven Ojibwa seven represents divinity. In Igbo cosmic mysticism, I say if a near asa or na, everything ends on seventh. So when the Bible creation story say that God rested on seventh day, Ojibwa seven is also saying the same thing that on the seventh day, if any na na, seven is the number of cancellation in mysticism. If Elisa or na, man ni eto oto. Remember, if you look at the form that when Oji started taking form, he started taking form from three. Following the Igbo mystic um, number of if eto obya ni eto oto. That is why when we want to cook, you have to bring um, if you bale eto, ite ya we eto, if you JC ite kwa ya we eto, maki if obya ni eto oto, if obya ni eto oto. Anything that has to stand, you have to stand on three. Even the tripod I'm using to shoot this video is standing on three legs. Three is stability. Three is stability. Mana seven is what? End. Represents end in mysticism. If a biana asa or na, if a biana asa or na, if a biana asa omega no or na, it goes back and starts again from one. That is Igbo mysticism. So, and it follows the creation story of seven, of seven, of seven. So, I'm showing you that Oji, why Oji is powerful. Oji encapsulates the creation story. If you want to understand the creation story, you look at Oji. Oji is telling you the story of creation. Who we are created first, male. After male, we started having women. But we need women to, for reproduction. They are in charge of reproduction. Why male are in charge of um, um, of leadership? That's why they came first. The nation unveiled everything to them. The secret of nation we are unveiled to men, male. Now the secret of procreation was handed over to women. This is what Oji is saying. So I'm telling you the creation story from the perspective of what Oji. The duality of life is well represented in it. Life is about duality. That's why we pray with Oji. Because at times, he pay pele with Oji. He may go to Mali for Oji, he go to Pulu. When you go on a pele pele with Oji, he may go to Mali for Oji, he may go to Pulu. From there, you can know what your day looks like. Oh no, but you, oh no, you, me, you want to see your job. A bad day, a very negative vibe, or someone evil. At times, the OJ can tell you if you are very deep and vast in it and start practicing it, you can know what the OJ is saying. But you cannot know what OJ is saying if you are using Boro to pray. Why? Because pray, this thing does not represent the anything about life. It's not natural. It's not yet in a natural state. Because in natural state, in this physical world, is about duality, male and female. It doesn't have male. It doesn't have female. So, what does that tell you? A man, can, a woman can never do without a man. You cannot see a wine. But a woman can hardly stand on her own without a male covering. That is what Oji is saying. I'm not the one saying it. So every female orgy will have a male orgy accompanying it. Oye wedi. Oye wedi lidi. Man, a male orgy can stand on its own. Orgy baleto. Okolo no unwe ye. Unke ya kuli ni no unwe ye. So we need to understand life from the perspective of orgy. 
Now, having said this, I said that we do not pray with what? Ojiguro, Ojiaosa, because most Ojiaosa will to like a Hanado. It doesn't have form. It doesn't have form. It doesn't have form. It will deep. Igbo is deep, is rooted in mystery, and you need to understand the mystery of Oji. You cannot understand Igbo or Dinana without Oji, because you cannot make any prayer in Igbo without Oji. No serious prayer can be made without Oji. Any prayer that is you are making as an Igbo man without Oji is incomplete, unless it's just a the prayer you are praying inside your heart. But once it's a serious prayer, whether it's prayer of thanksgiving, prayer of supplication, or whatever kind of prayer, you have to Oji has to be involved. Now, in finality, let me explain again. One, Oji, first Oji is Oji Dalobi. Oji Dalobi, Oji Enweri Fokulu. It cannot be broken, self. It cannot be broken, or Dalobi. The second one is Oji Walabo, or Kalanabo, or Kalanabo, Oji Walabo. The second one, is, the third one is what? Oji Kenga, Oji Walabo, three males. The fourth one, Oji Walabo, you know, Two males, three females. Afianano or Bosanano. Two males, two females. Afianano or Bosanano. Obweke, Obuye, Obuafo, Obunkoni, Mojiafo. The fifth one is Ojomomo. Fertility, reproduction. Two males, three females. Two males, three females. Eh, Omomo. When you eat baby Lomomo, you pass again one luchu ya bagono. Ne Ojobali seki ye jiwe jawokua. Holy in a jay for strength. In a jay for ifena. A man in your job later, then six double ikenga, double victory. Omomo, excess, naturally, if you call by an excess, or job by Oji ikenga, ikenga nabo. Number seven, Oji mo, you hardly find this kind of Oji. In wake you want your job five years, six years, you cannot find Oji, Oji mo. That's why in Ibo cosmology, if you see Oji mo, Oji by seven, you must kill a fowl, a cock. For the OJ because it means that you have stumbled, you have seen a God. If you stumble on OJ Bala 7, a war Jibo Bala 7, listen carefully, a war Jibo Bala 7, you are meant to do what? Kill a cock, a male cock for the OJ. I say now, you're the OJ, Alienko. Eh? I say no, you're Anga Fulugo, Megono. The Mekilini of Mamaka a half ugo, Pada. So I da forge, umo Pada. If for honey, you bully a gun, you bully you cock, you kill a cock for it. So you see how deep and mystic Ojibo is. Now, I want to explain um, about Ojugo and Ojinkete. Ojugo, the difference between Ojugo is that it shines so bright, like this Ojuguru here. That's how the color is. That's how the color is. Ojugo is another kind of rare oji, but it still have everything that no more jinkiti has. Oya do niofu, oya do niibwa, oya do nieto, oya do niano, oya do niso, oya do nisi, oya do ni asato. Sorry, not asato, asa. Umu no more. There are the kind of spirits or forces you want to pray. There are some kind of prayers you want to pray. You use ojugo. At times, in the nature mili, na they use ojugo. But I'm not saying that the Shoei Jemini use the delay or Jugo. That's not what I'm saying. Uh, so, go out one more. If I'm more, can I name it? I'm more. Well, I'm more. I'm more. This is the most common Oji. Oji. Mm? The one that the color is like red. Uh, is it chrysum red? I don't know. But not this kind of as in red. Strong red. That is Oji. Uh, you, you don't pray with um, bitter color. You don't akilu, akilu. No, they don't pray with it at all. You don't pray with it. Is oji is oji ojibo, ojibo is what we used to pray. Akilu and epopu. Can you break it? All these things I explained, the creation story I explained. You using oji? Can you do it with oji? It's only ojibo you can do it with. No form of oji. So oji ibo, you communicate with it. You can pray after praying. Eh ya wuni oji ke mali for oji pulu. That's though as a beginner you cannot be able to do this you need to stay close to elders to learn how to do it or your spirit if you have it if you have that spirit of prophecy in you 
you can start learning it and the Oji will be telling you whatever he's saying and if you are strong enough to believe what the Oji is saying with time you see that what Oji is telling you is correct because Oji is powerful it speaks for itself one of the powers we have is through this Oji Oji is powerful and let me say this please if you pray in the morning and you do not eat the cola nut if you pray to your chin in the morning and you do not eat the cola nut that prayer is incomplete the bond you share with your forces your she and undi she is tightened is communion oji is communion the bond is tightened when you eat the cola so the more you eat the cola that's the more you strengthen the bond between your you and your spiritual forces so any force that you pray to and you do not share the cola with the person you do not share the cola with that spirit with that forces then it means you are in a so that in a so that means that that power irritates you if we want a man near a malagon dish here we want a man near a takoji you know what nushiaka you know the ancient he is of her ancestors the ancestral base of his lineage we are aligned so it's oji that we used to align is communion is the Igbo communion this is our own holy grail this is our own holy communion this orgy that you are saying so so your prayer is incomplete to your chi and your indishi if you after praying you do not break the cola in your fan kefa assume if you throw their own and you eat one that isn't eh? yeah so this is what you need to know about OG. Um, I'll do a video hopefully maybe next month or in coming weeks to show you how you can pray with OG if that is necessary. I don't know if it's necessary. If you want me to do that kind of video, let me know in comment section. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, if you like the video, please like, subscribe and share. I would like to hear from some of you if you have any question please you can reach me through the number on the screen or my email address or other my other social media handles thank you thank you <laughs>